Note that this is not an official video and this is not a feature that's been released yet and it possibly might not see the light of day, but as of right now, it's looking really good and I wanted to show it off. Mark has always had bookmarking capabilities. You could press shift and a number and leave a bookmark at a certain point wherever you were scrolled to and then just press that number and jump back to those points or use N and P to jump between them. But it's really basic and you can't see the list of bookmarks, you don't know what's where and you don't know what bookmarks you've used and overall it's a very basic system. So I tweaked it a little. In my current development version of Marked, when you open a file it generates something called a mini-map. You have to enable this in preferences and uh, once the file is loaded, you just press zero and it'll display your entire document at the uh, height of the screen and clicking any part of it will jump directly to that section. If your screen changes shape, it'll regenerate the mini-map so you're always seeing exactly what your document is looking like and where the locations you can jump to are. Okay, so back to bookmarking. You can still press shift number just like you could before and jump between those and these are based on scroll position which means if your document changes length or you add a section between the bookmarks they're no longer accurate to where you had bookmarked originally and that might be okay in many cases but if you want to add a bookmark that'll stay in place you press option and a number and it'll figure out what the closest header is and then add a bookmark to that header not to the scroll position. So next time you load the document, as long as that header's there, it will still find your position. This only works if you have headers for each section of your document. If your document is all text, there's really nothing to bookmark other than scroll points. So keep that in mind. But you can clear all your bookmarks by pressing XX. When you add a bookmark and it's closed, it will show you just a small marker on the side of the screen which is again relative to the position in the document. Down here it'll tell you if you use option it'll tell you what header it decided to bookmark. It decides the header based on first it checks the visible headers on the screen and picks the first one. If there are no headers on the screen visible it'll look above the top of the viewport for the first one and if it doesn't find one nearby it'll look below the viewport in that order. Pressing zero expands any uh, any bookmarks that you've had as well as the mini map and you can regenerate them they stick on refresh so that's the new bookmark feature in marked uh, mark 2 is almost ready for the app store I've added a ton of stuff to it and uh, all current users outside of the app store will get the update for free and it should be available I'm hoping I ha I'm hoping to have a beta out this week but I'm going to WWDC so you know you never know.